show you how you can add a baby into this digital backdrop because I have already take a picture of the baby it will be much easier for me uh, usually when you think that you'd like to use one of my backdrops I would suggest you to take picture with on layers that are a little bit similar with mine or you can change colors of the layers underneath the baby uh, in Photoshop um, so I'll show you I'll go to uh, selection tool I'll select the baby you don't have to be completely exact but it's okay and you see because I have two images here I have the backdrop image and I have the baby image so right now I'm on the baby image with select tool I will mask this selection and I take this one this image and I drag onto the digital backdrop Let's hit OK because it's bigger than the digital this resolution is bigger so I have to adjust it based of this uh, adjust it based of this one as I told you before it will be much easier for me because this is an image taken exactly with this baby into this backdrop so I'll try to find the exact the exact location Even though you can see that there are different um, colors, so okay, I'll try to adjust the carriage. Okay, and after I find the approximate location, I hit enter. I go to mask, I take brush, I invert the brushes, you can do that on the, you can do that also with the X button, I maximize and I do the brush a little bit lower and I start to erase everything that doesn't match here close to the baby going closer to the baby hmm, I can I can leave that too I can leave that there okay because that's the blanket it's the blanket but it's a different color okay I'll take it away I'll take it away I also go with a bigger brush like this one and I always come back to do the retouches and if I need I do them many times to be as perfect as it can be because I use the same layers when I take picture of this baby it's easier for me in this case I 
hit the X button and I go back even I even like this one I hit the X again you can you can see my you can see here how I change the I hit the X button because I like that shadow I don't want to take it but I love also the flowers from here usually when I like something like that I go with opacity I lower the opacity so I can have a little bit of the both merged easier easier to merge okay and i go i maximize i hit the x button again I go max let me see is this one no so I'll go to history and go one step behind go to x button again I don't like it okay I think I was somewhere here okay and I go opacity again And I try to make them more visible. The flowers, they're here. I'll record this one so you can always do steps back and forth, stop and 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 see it all over again. Okay, now we go to the crown. We always do we lower here, like we go with lower opacity so we can integrate the colors. Here, I'll go back again to 100. And I always try to keep the edges and clean everything. clean the edges I can do the brush bigger but be careful when you do the brush bigger because you enter onto this one and you have to do it all over again
if you want to know if you want to learn more basics of Photoshop I will suggest you to go uh, there are a lot of lessons a lot of people teaching basics of Photoshop where you can learn about layers so you can learn about brushes where you can learn about all these basics that we are using how to how to um, uh, make the brush bigger how to make the brush smaller and all this that's why in my um, we can see how it's it's going you have to have patience to do that because we want to have an image a perfect image a perfect integrated baby into this image Pretty much, this is this is usually what I do when I'm using backdrops. I'll go faster right now because I don't wanna keep you showing you showing you all completely detailed. Like you you saw that you saw the the steps that I do usually and how you should do as well. Like I'm working with very pixelated uh, images because I can step back X where I can adjust everything and it goes like that image belong like that baby belongs to that specific image and I like when when you can clearly like when you you can say that oh my gosh that baby is from that image I love that so I would suggest you to do this as well the same as more details are you doing as more beautiful your digital will end up to be go fast right now here I would also go with opacity I, w I would clear I would clear uh, and leave some some wool hair for the to have it as more and when I work with the hair wool I go I play, play with the opacity to have it as more natural try to keep more natural you to understand like pretty much how it works and here you also as detail as you can be as maxim okay I change the brush instead of doing okay step back X Okay. Okay. 
What am I doing? Going back. the wrong button. I was trying to show and I hit the wrong button there. So you do this well uh, the same with the baby, with the baby's foot. You play with opacity because you want to do as natural as it can be. Go max little brush X and define baby's skin because we don't want to have layer hair into baby's skin do the same here go fast here but I want you to show how things work playing with this tiny brush makes it makes the difference as tiny as you can be as patient as you can be you'll have a beautiful image Don't forget about the shadows. Usually I keep the shadows, I keep the natural shadows here and from the baby. And what I do, I just go and play with opacity. And I just, playing with opacity, I integrate the layer. I have 36, okay because I have a different color okay I'll go <clears throat> I'll go lower I will change the I'll go bigger brush and I changed also the the layer color and I'll go like that and I'll show you also what I always do after after like I think that I finished my I finished working around the baby like when I see I see a perfect image but I always hit option button keep the option button and with left right left click of the mouse on this one oh my gosh so we can see the sharp edges you see these are the edges that needs to be clean I am on black so I'm cleaning with the black with the black okay going on 100% cleaning the black because this one you, you know sometimes you can see images and I was like oh my gosh you can see clear that that's um, that's a digital backdrop because it was not clean and you can see different parts of the diff of another image into that one so this is how am I how I'm going and clearing everything that our eye doesn't catch right away when when the image is perfectly clear you see here I I didn't finish it because I wanted to, I wanted to go faster but okay in this one I go uh, if I want to check what's going on here I go back again I hit option button left click and like this is the baby this is the crown okay this is the the flowers okay and when I need to clean with white I just hit the X button and clean with the white you see I didn't clean here good 
so I go in the white be careful it's always working with small brushes the secret is working patient with small brushes as smaller as it can be if you do a mistake go back or choose another brush and fix with another brush like I Hicks X button and fix it here X going back with white and fixing here because these are darker spots that right now we don't catch them but you if you print that image or um, if you see it a bigger uh, you catch for sure all these details all these and retouched details that now you don't see them as you can see I didn't finish working with small brushes so that's why you can see this different or sometimes it's showing like that when I told you that I work with opacity okay going back option button left click and we are back to the image here I don't like something it's like having no if I don't like something always I just uh, command command T and I have the square of the image and I want to see okay but going back I changed a lot of the editing so I will not do that right now but usually for a client I always I always do that and I re-edit everything that I didn't edit that back then see there is also a flower here that I I will edit for sure and I skipped it okay like this one here I like it and I would edit it so pretty much this is it uh, when you finish when you finish working on your image when you are satisfied with your um, end result you just hit with left click left click the background then right click and hit the flatten image and the image will flatten with that one if you flatten by mistake and you want to go back you always hit history and go back and you are back again or you want to go back hit the last step and you are you have flatten again and always save a copy always save a copy never save on that image because you might do a mistake and you can't go back if you flatten it um, I will not save it I'll go back and I'll just take this layer and I'll delete it I take this layer and I drag it to trash and I just deleted that layer and I close my image I say don't save it here because it's still impending I will go right there at the first step on history I'll close the image don't save and that's it thank you